Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, it's officially over. The rap beef is officially over. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about Kendrick Lamar and Drake. This little beef that's been going on, it's over, man. It's officially over. Kendrick then dropped a new song called 616 in LA. He took the gloves off this time, man. And I say it's over. And I say it's over because I'm done with it, man. I'm done with it. it, is, it, it I'm going to tell you the truth, man. This rap beef has gotten boring. It's got corny, man. I don't like it no more. First of all, I want to say I did not like Euphoria. I ain't like it. I'm not a Drake fan either. No, let's not get that twisted. Let's get that twisted, man. I've been fighting for the past three days about this. About, oh, you a Drake fan. That's why you don't like Euphoria. I don't like Euphoria because this shit was weak, man. I don't like it as a rap beef. As a rap diss track. That's what I'm saying. I said it was trash. I'm not meaning like it's trash, but all the double entendres and stuff, man. You got to go through a damn word search to find out all this stuff, man. About these diss tracks. The Kendrick doing. <clears throat> and I ain't like it. What you got to do, man? You got to do a um, word search. Where's Waldo? Choose your destiny. You got to go back fire raps. Look at shit. Do, I don't, I don't want to do all that in the rap. In the rap beef. Dumb it down for me. Yes, I am saying that. Dumb it down. I want to hear straight facts. Straight punch in the face. I don't want to have to go through no damn flows. In no pockets. You see the pocket he got into, man? He got into the... Uh, uh, uh. No, not in the rap beef. I don't want to hear that. That's me personally. That's what I'm saying. And me not liking Euphoria has nothing to... I don't like Drake like that. I ain't no Drake fan. I'm a Kendrick fan. I just didn't like it. it that's what it turned into. It turned into, if you don't like it, you're a Drake fan. No. I have gotten to it with so many people online about this, man. And it's going to continue tonight, Friday. Because I ain't heard him to take on my cousin yet, man. My cousin Preemzilla. We do the show every Friday at 9 p.m., man. Come through and join us at 9 p.m. tonight to let me know. Bring it. Tell me what y'all feel about it, too. Because I got to hear this, man. But it's a lot of people that I've been going back and forth with. Some of them saying that they don't like it either. And they grown. Because it's a lot of, it's a lot of people that saying that I don't like it because me personally saying you don't like it because you can't understand it. You don't get it. I get it. I get it. I get all the double entendres, triple entendres, obtuse angle, acute, all that shit y'all doing in these raps. I hear it. I just don't want to hear it. So that's why I've turned it to he the Drake fan, but I'm not. So that's why this shit been killing me, man. But I say this shit turned boring. It turned corny because everybody want to be a damn detective into a rap beef, man. This 616 in LA dropping people like, yo, look. 616, that's the death of Tupac. Um, 616, that's the OJ when she got buried in the cold. Um, 616, that's when the trial started. Um, 616, that's when Euphoria, that's the date. Like, Shut up. I don't care about all that. I don't care. What, what, what LeBron do? When he jumped at that woman, that was crazy too. You can be jumping at a woman, LeBron, but he jumped at that woman. That's what I'm saying. I don't care. I don't care about none of these double on charges, triple. I'm telling you, man, this shit is a damn turn the page back, find your destiny. You gotta, I, I, I get that. He's a great artist. I love Kendrick Lamar. I love it. Great artist, but I don't want to hear that. I want to hear some dumb shit. I want to hear straight knife. Give me a knife. I ain't got no knife. I need a knife. Screw, jab you. <laughs> Shake somebody rap. I want to hear that. So, yes. I will play um, Devil's Advocate. <clears throat> I said it was trash. And I meant that. I meant it. Like, I listened to it over and over again. It's good lyrically. Yes, it's good. It's a good song. I like it. But I don't like it. For the rap beef. That's why I say I'm, I'm officially bowing out. I'm bowing out of this rap beef, man. Because I don't, I, 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 I don't feel the same way y'all feel about it. Y'all feel so... Uh, oh, he's doing what beautiful, magical... Unicorns and narwhals and shit. I don't want to hear all that. And no rap beef. I want to hear dumb rap beef, hard beat, kill you, punch you in the face. Rah. So that's why I say it's over. Not because somebody winning. And, and if anybody winning, it's probably Kendrick because he's doing the most. 
He keep coming out with his, like, his layers to it. That's what everybody keeps saying. His layers to it. He's slow cooking them. He he cooking them one, two, three. He dropped it back to back like he did. He did all this. I don't care. Shit. I'm really getting tired of people overreacting to the, the euphoria. The other day, Queen's Flip. This nigga tore up his whole desk. And this, that song, that, that, I didn't hear not one part in that song to make me stand up and punch a wall and do some shit. Like, oh. That's what I'm saying. I'm officially out of it because this this ain't making me feel that way. Who else did something? Jay Black. Look at his reaction to this, man. To the um to the six sixteen. That's what I'm saying. People start doing like the reaction videos is getting I don't know, man. It seems like it's it's kinda like it's phoned in, yo. It seemed like we call it um a plant. Like it's the industry plant. They playing this shit all on on TNT, playing his diss songs and stuff. I'm looking like, oh, and I've seen so many people come out of the, out of the woodworks, man, that, to argue with me that this song was so great, that the Euphoria was so great. It's looking like it ain't that good to me. I, that's just me personally. I ain't like it. I might have jumped out the window saying it was trash, and that's why most people came from. They were like, you say it's trash, you must like Drake. No, I don't. But I'm saying it, it is. It's, it's turned commercial. Everybody want to do a reaction to it. And it's like, I don't, I don't even want to react to it. I don't even want to. I'm like, man, it took me about, probably about two hours to make this video just to say, fuck it, man. I'm going to do it. 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 Because I ain't want to do it. I ain't want to make no reaction video because I seen everybody doing it. Man, somebody I respect, man. ARP. Look at this. He, he like my um, mentor, my mental mentor. He like, I, I, I look at a lot of shit he do and I, Watch his game, yo. I, I watch a lot. Of, if y'all don't know who that is, it's ARP from um, Rare Breed Entertainment. He my mental mentor. Like I look at him from a distance and, and check his, peep his game out. Him and um, Chad Ubre for the um, 85 South show. In the background, it's the niggas in the background that's quiet, making moves and shit. I like to listen to them and like look, peep their game and shit. But when I seen this, I like, come on, bro. You you doing reactions too? And I know you doing the um, Sorry is Not True podcast, but your face like this over this new Kendrick um, 616 is looking like, oh, come on, man. It kind of hurt my feelings, man. It's like, oh, come on, man. And I'm, and I'm saying this like this because I ain't feeling the way they feeling. If he can make this reaction off the... No. If, oh, this is the reactions they getting off these... Off these... I'm looking like I need to... I need to just pack it up. I need to pack it up, man. That's what I'm doing, packing it up. Um, I think tonight going to be the last time I talk about it, man, when I get with my co-host, man, because this is like, I ain't feeling the way y'all feeling it. And yes, I do understand the lyrics and the lyricisms. Battle rap, man. Um, What's my man name? Loaded Looks. They probably say he's probably the top two, top three battle rappers of all time. I don't listen to him like that because I don't want to hear all this super lyrical miracle physical individual shit i don't want to hear that that nigga trash to me this, yeah me i'm saying uh, open your eyes me heist man i'm saying throw the looks trash to me just because i don't want to hear that shit i don't want to hear that shit i want to hear some damn i'm strapped in madness t what's his name taylor i want somebody to shoot you in the face some shit like that man i want to hear all this lyrical shit man say that shit for common and all niggas man Black thought. I'm sorry, man. Everybody catching strays today. Um, but that's what it boils down to, man. It's over with because I said it's over with. Just because it didn't turn commercial, it didn't turn corny to me. Um, they playing it on fucking TNT and inside the NBA. Like everybody got a damn say so about it. Everybody, if you don't like, if you don't like Euphoria, you got to be a Drake fan. That's what they come. That's what the consensus say. And if you don't like it, you don't understand it. I've seen people, grown-ups, <clears throat> that say, yeah, I don't like it. And I'm not, not a Drake fan. And there's a lot of people defending. It's like a lot of people saying they do like it. A lot of people say they don't like it. Most of the people say they do like it. It's been real kiddie-ish to me. Like, oh, you you weak, man. You don't like it. You don't like it. Then the people that say they don't like it be like, bro, I don't like it. Cause flat out. They be like, oh, word? You one of them? You one of the ones that don't like it? Cool. And they'd be like, yeah, I don't like it, man. I'm a Drake fan, but I don't like it. I mean, they'd be like, I'm a Kendrick fan, but I don't like Euphoria. That's what niggas be saying, like, yeah. 
I'm a Kendrick fan. I don't like Euphoria. Now I'm saying I'm a Kendrick fan. I don't like Euphoria. I'm a Kendrick fan. I don't like 616 in LA. I don't want all these. <laughs> Gotta have a fucking genie to unlock a special code to understand these raps, man. I understand them. I just don't like them. And that's the consensus, man. We definitely gonna be talking about this tonight right here on this channel, man. At 9 p.m. That's when I go live with my co-host, Primozilla. And we're going to talk about this, man. Because there's a lot that need to be said about this, man. He's going to have some shit to say about it. I'm going to have some shit to say about it. He better be on my side, too. Or he might not be because everybody got their own opinion. My opinion is I didn't like him. I didn't like it. He's an intellectual. He can understand this stuff. I can understand this stuff. But he understand this stuff and know the meaning and all this stuff he do. I don't want to hear that. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. That's, that's the new shit. I want stupid rap for now on. That's what I'm on, man. Stupid rap. Anyway, I'm out of here, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All those good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking my shit just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Folk. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Stupid. This is a dangerous group is it groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. <laughs>